thing I have for today, we're going to be talking about, I'm going to be talking about, um, sorry, we're going to be talking about a, a, an exercise equipment tool. Now, I know we usually talk about, um, health, like mental health and all that, but today I'm going to be going, talking about physical health. And I found this article online that said six different exercise tools that actually don't work. So I thought, okay, let's look into that because I was actually curious. And one of them was about the ab wheel, which I've heard a lot of people talk about, or it was like blowing up that a lot of people used it. So then I looked at and I thought, okay, I'm going to share this with you guys, so that's what we're going to do today. Now, I'm not going to say this absolutely doesn't work because there is actual, I guess, data to back it up and, and to show that it works. So it's not that it doesn't work, it's just people may use it the wrong way. I did see a video about tips on how to use it the right way, so I'm not going to, of course, do the exact same thing. I'm going to try to do it a little differently. So I'm still really trying about talking about how to do it the right way, but I'm also gonna be I'm gonna be trying to talk about like I guess the form and everything, not just tips, which is what the other video did. So if you don't know what an ab wheel and all that uh, yeah, what an ab wheel thing exercise equipment is, it's basically it has those little bars and then there's a wheel and then the one that you just roll up and down and the people are usually on their knees and then they go up and down. <clears throat> now, I guess what's the most important is how you have your back because they you have your back kind of, I guess, not aligned and then it's going to sit up. Before we actually get into it, I'm going to talk about a little bit of the science behind it as to how it works so that we know exactly what we're talking about. And that is, so the idea is basically, it lets the person charge anti-extension in the way so It's about your abs are basically keeping your back from being <clears throat> from being arched. So, because you don't want to be like this, which is kind of hard to tell, but you want to just be straight. And then whatever going down, that's how the, your back is supposed to stay. It's supposed to stay up, or you're supposed to stay up all the way and not arched. And if your abs are pretty strong, then it keeps that position no matter whether you're going up or down. So now that we get like the got the chest out of the way, now we're gonna move into it. And the first first thing to remember when actually using this equipment is that a lot of people what they do is they they go over they pretty much overextend, so it's like overextension is basically you're moving your limb beyond like a comfortable point that it's okay with, and it's like if you if it hurts, then that means you're doing it too far or too much. And so whenever you're rolling, a lot of people they just lean all the way out, and what people should do is that it they should pretty much do it slowly so if they know how their how strong their abs are and they can feel like they can only go so far that they should that's where they should stop. They shouldn't keep going if it's like if your back is already getting strained and there's no support from their abs. And where people do over and roll out or whatever, that pretty much could lead to back pain. So the whole goal is to basically fill your abs, 
holding your back up while you're going up and down. <clears throat> Okay, and then the next thing to remember, oh, you can also avoid that by starting at an incline. That pretty much helps you from like over doing it from one all the way down. So it's like you have to go back, you have to go back up sooner so that keeps from turning your back. And Now, the next thing is about your, pretty much about your back, so you want to keep a, you know, you want to basically keep a solid plank position, is what I saw it say on the article. So you want to stay straight the whole time. You don't want to crunch over when you're here. You just want to stay straight, you're going down and up, down and up. And if you're doing it right, there shouldn't be any pain coming up or down. And then the next thing that I see to do right is when it comes to your arms, so you don't want to strain your arms all the way. You want to kind of have them at a So you want to basically, you don't want to do it like all the way out, so you kind of want to have a bend to your arms. Like, you're going out, but you have to have a bend at some point in your life. And that kind of goes more with the back than anything. <laughs> and the last thing I'm going to go over is pretty much that if you feel like you're <clears throat> if you feel like right, I'm not sure if I said this already but basically the last thing is just going slow about it so yes you may want to like after probably like five minutes and all of a sudden you just go all the way down to the ground but just work up to it so once you get a certain distance do that for a while and then go a little further and then once you're good with that then you can go a little further and that's all I have for today on that that was our little mm, review of the product that I saw and I actually have like I actually saw five other products that they said don't work and I'll be doing another video on those five. So I have like five videos coming out and please subscribe so that way you don't miss any other videos. I'll see you guys in the next one.